I am not going to lie, guys. I feel pretty fantastical. I woke up, I don't have like a congestion in the head. I don't feel sick anymore. I feel great. I'm ready to work out. I feel like I could just run to the gym today. I did not think I'd make that. Whew. Actually, no, that'd be stupid. Don't, don't do that, Max. The heck? Hey. Gotta put stupid air in my stupid tires, stupid Jeep, stupid sir. <laughs> Such sick air, dude. You might see me jogging, you might see me walking, you might see me walking and dead. That's good. Ugh. Now, yo, go. No dogs in the couch. So affectionate, dude. Ow. 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 Everything with Mr. Miyagi. Everything. I mean, I know he's written me off. And I, I don't think I've ever seen the Karate Kid, but whatever. It's time to lift. Uh, what's up, guys? It has been a while since you have seen me in the gym. Feels good to be back. We have been out of the fitness for almost three weeks now. I don't even know if I remember how to lift. We're starting with squats, because my legs cannot get any smaller, so we have to work them out. Right now, 315 pounds in the warm up. I'm not really sure with this much time off and me being coming back from a sick, be, being sick, I'm not really sure how well I'm gonna do today, but let's play a game. How well do you think Maxi Poo is gonna do in his squats today? That's our final. Set, go. Ah! Karate Kid Max. All right, so we got four wheels on them bad, bad boys. Four wheels, shout out Chris Jones. Spinning the weight. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Do we need chalk? Now nah, we don't need chalk. Make sure you get the side angle those haters, dude. We don't want any haters. Like Max, you've been gone for the game too long. I forgot how to squat, dude. No IPF depth. You got red lighted in your second attempt. You suck at squats, Max. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna do some doubles today, guys. Set two, baby, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Now, since I leave for Texas next week, it potentially can interfere with my programming, but we're gonna start it anyway. I believe we're starting the power building on Monday, where Max starts the journey to bench 315 again. Again. Set two, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right 
probably thinking that with his power building, but like Max Apu, are you gonna get away from uh, powerlifting, dude? Are you gonna be a bodybuilder like all the rest of the kids out there? Are you gonna get jacked? Well, I might get a little bit bigger, marginally, kind of like butter, but guys, I'm a powerlifter at heart. You come to this channel because we like picking up heavy ass weight and we like putting it back down. Your boy Max is never gonna convert fully to bodybuilding. We will always be strong little potatoes. Or we'll try to be at least. Because being a bodybuilder, that's a no-no. And this is a nene. Last set! Easy weight, dude! That is enough fitness for this segment of the video. I will see you guys later, dude. You know what this reminds me of, guys? The good old days of YouTube. I don't know how long a lot of you have been on this YouTube thing, this YouTube channel, this YouTube website, interwebs thing, but back in the day, YouTube fitness used to consist of me waking up, having a bowl of children's cereal, maybe an apple, some potassium, that's a banana by the way, some protons, and I would just go to the gym, I would lift, I would do a commentary of the gym, and that would be it. There was no vlogging, really. There was no sick angles, dude. That hadn't been invented yet, which I believe was later founded in 2016 by the great Kelvin and Max Tuning. But I'm not really sure what changed Fitness YouTube. I think it might have been Christian, actually. He came around with his fancy cameras and his sick edits and just had to disrupt the whole fitness YouTube thing. Life was easier back then. But you know what? We adapt and we change. And now you guys get to see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Is that a friend? Leave a comment down below. If you've been around since the beginning of YouTube fitness, do you like the old days where it wasn't vlog or do you like getting more like into our lives because I think that is a big reason why uh, YouTube has taken off so much is because I feel that like beyond fitness people want to relate and people want to kind of see what you do outside of the walls of the gym so I think that's how YouTube has expanded but it's definitely you got to put in a lot more work now on YouTube than you did uh, four years ago and I think that's good because it forces people it kind of weans out the, the the people who aren't willing to put in the effort who aren't willing to take you to Target and show you buying underwear and stuff, you know? It really makes you work harder. Leave a comment down below. I love Golden Grams. So obviously, because I can work from home, I could just stay there all day and do all my computer stuff and editing there. But if you ever get the opportunity to have a physical business location, like an office, even though ours is kind of like in a storage room, I'd highly recommend you take advantage of it because it makes you be more productive and feel more productive. So I get out of the house, get out of my PJs, come to the office, hang out my, <coughs> <coughs> hang out my,
hang out with my friends, maybe lift some weights. I like it. I'm so wet right now. <laughs> All right, so just got in the gym and your boy Andrew came in for a day pass. Look what he brought. Look at this thing. 115 pieces of candy. Yeah. You're ruining the carbon take, man. Hey, I'm on paleo, so I can't even touch that. You know what we do? Whenever someone brings like this, I like to leave it out, like right here, so anyone at the gym can use it. And it's actually gone within about one week. All right, guys, a little bit more fitness. The doctors, uh, they said I would never be able to lift again. Show them the, the tricep. Show them that ugly scar, man. Is that ugly? Yeah. That's ugly. They tried to take mass away from my already skinny arms, but you know what? I said nay. I will lift again. I will bench 315 before 2020. It's gonna take. Welcome to the rebuild series, guys. Ugh. Gotta believe in yourself, and you can achieve anything, guys. If you want to go into space without a spacesuit, you can do it if you believe. You have to have belief, and you have to be shredded. That's what I told you. Life gets easier the more shredded that you get. Christian Guzman taught me that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling significantly better post sickness, but I'm still very fatigued, AKA I'm very shreepy, so. I'm honestly not really feeling this workout, and I think I think we're just gonna go in the office and like watch the first Karate Kid, to be honest. Because <laughs> we watched the third one yesterday, so I'm done working out. All right, so to wrap up this video, I am gonna have a little CEO chat. Guess who the CEO is? Surprise, it's me. So we have a couple orders that came through today while we were lifting, and the business tip of the day is to always be projecting when your next move is going to be. Because when you get into clothing or anything, it's easy to get like caught up in just like, all right, you, you order a product, you wait for the product to get here, you sell the product, you wait till the product is done, and then you order more product. But with especially with overseas manufacturing, it takes anywhere from 7 to 15 days to get a sample, then you have to readjust those samples. And then when you place a bulk order, it takes about a month, depending on how many you order, right? So. So for example, all these shorts that we just had the launch of, all the ruby red ones are pretty much gone. I think I have like one double XL, and the other shorts are vastly going very quickly, right? So if I wait until all the shorts are gone, then it's gonna be 30 days before I can have more shorts. So you have to kind of plan ahead on products that are doing really well. As soon as you even have the launch and you see that they're gonna start selling out maybe within a week or a week and a half, you forecast that and then you already plan another order, right? So by the time these sell out, you're only waiting about a week because you don't, you don't have downtime where people can't purchase anything because customers that come to your website or maybe it's their first time and they're like, oh, I'd like to try this out and you don't have any product because you sold out, right? It's always great to like sell out all your products, but if they, they can't purchase anything, that might be the first time that they've ever been to the website and that may be the last time because they're like, oh, there's nothing there, I'll come back later and they never come back. So you always want product available and you always want to forecast and kind of like analyze what products do really well, what products don't. You know, when I do different color schemes of shirts, I'm basically trying to figure out what colors work, what designs work, I figure out which ones I restocked. Generally, a lot of us fitness YouTubers, we don't like restock clothes that are previous designs unless they do really, really well. So like the flag shirts, which I have in four colors, those have, uh, uh, analytically, no, those have always done really, really well. So those are, I'm, I'm always gonna have those in stock. Just like with the shorts, the shorts are amazing and they sell out really fast and they keep selling out. So I have to keep ordering more and more. So these are almost gone. I'm about to place another order. So always be projecting when your next move, what your next move is going to be, because you don't want to be without inventory, because your business can't, your business can't run if you don't have anything to sell, right? So it's always cool to sell out on products, but you don't. The more you scale, the more you grow, you don't want to never have anything to sell, right? So that's my advice for today. Thanks you. F thank you so, so. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, ever forward, and. I think we're all gonna go out tonight, so maybe the next vlog, I'll kinda like document the 
how I go out, you know? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Maybe like what I wear, a little outfit. Uh, get some scissors, cut some holes in there. Peter, you gonna wear any holes tonight? Yeah, bro, I got my Alphalete Premium line, bro. Man, dude, you dress like a grandpa, man. You tuck in your shirt, dude, that's so... <laughs> Why don't we compare our outfits? I look like I go to church, and you look like the guy who doesn't go to man, church. I look good when I go out, I'm not gonna lie. Why do you always go home alone? <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, bro. Okay, dude.